Hello, I'm going to show how to use semantic merge in Git to solve a quite complex semantic conflict. Okay, let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new branch and switch to it. My editor, Visual Studio Code, gets updated. I'm on Task 01 now. And then what I'm going to do is to re reorder I mean change the layout of of the of my code at this point I'm just going to do something simple for for the sake of simplicity and of course it's not a real case but you can you can really understand that this is something that can happen on under real circumstances so I'm going to do return move down and modified on task 01 and I save it by the way, this is not a change you will do on real code, of course. You wouldn't put such a comment. But it's just, as I said, for sake of simplicity, just to focus on the operation itself and not make it more complex. The second thing I'm going to do is just to move this code up and also modify it. I'm going to put it as the first method on the class, just after all the members. And what I'm going to do is another modification. So modified on task 01 and moved up and done with that then i'm going to stage my change and then i'm going to check in the refactor code as you can see here uh well git is, is, is just tracking these changes the the actually the the embedded div tool in Visual Studio Code is just tracking these changes as, as deleted and added, but that's not what Semantic will do. So I just commit and check in and done with that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to force a conflict. In order to do that, I'll just go to master and make some changes there. So what I'm going to do, very simple. Now the methods I'm on master now, I don't have the latest changes I just done, so this pause it at the end and so on. So what I'm going to do now is just modification done on master. And I'm also going to modify the return method on its original location. Again, modification done on master. I save and I'm going to do a checking. Well, first I'm going to stage the change and then change our master to force a semantic merge conflict okay I do the checking and then the next thing I'm going to do is just to merge task our one okay here we go git merges but then it detects that there is a merge conflict on Kestrel internal memory pool okay but I have git merge tool for that and it will launch semantic merge. Here we go. S semantic merge opens up and then it correctly detects the conflicts. In fact, if I if I go and show the the outline, it's telling me, well, the dispose method and the return method were changed by the two contributors, changed on one side, changed on the other, and also they were moved on one of the contributors. That's the M. That's what this M stands for, moved. Uh, if you want to see it more visually, I can go and run visual merge, and then I see a, a full diagram of what happened. As you can see here, the return method would just change in one contributor. The dispose was also changed by the other contributor, but then the methods were also changed and moved by the other contributors. Okay, so here's very here's a very simple way to to understand what happened. I can hide the changes, just focus on the structure change, just removing everything else that is not relevant. Well, the interesting thing is that semantic 2.0, as you can see on the screen, it has the same layout as a traditional three-way merge tool. You see the the common ancestor, uh, the source contributor, and the destination, and then the result, and it's basically telling, look. Even that they are on different lines because it's, it is at the this at the beginning of the file this dispose at the beginning of the file and one contributor because it was moved it was changed by the other but it still detects the conflict and now you can go and run the merge you can also do it 
from the panel here right whatever you prefer in my case I'm going to do it from here I merge the code and then it will show the text merge tool to actually solve just the conflict on these methods you can see the conflict is automatic no merges to solve because it was just a line added on top and another line added on bottom okay save and exit and then it automatically goes to the second one which is the return remember the return was like on the middle of the file and it was moved to the to the to the bottom by one of the refactors and was modified on both okay I can do exactly the same thing merge the code again it's going to be automatic because just a simple at the end of the day because I just change non colliding lines I save and exit it's fixed now and then if I look uh, to the result what I'm going to see is that the two conflicts are solved this pose method is on the top but it has the two lines on the right locations as you can see here one and two and then the second method is on the bottom now but it also has the two changes on the right location and that's the beauty of semantic merge it can turn an almost impossible merge case into something trivial to solve and then as soon as you go back to the editor you'll see the changes you know solved and and that's it for today